Hi everyone, my name is Brianna and I work for the city's solid waste management department and today I'm going to be talking to you guys a bit about my job at solid waste. So as you can see from our little symbol here, um, we're the people who take care of all of your trash, your recycling and your organic materials. So anything you throw away at school or at home, we're the people who take care of it. Uh, but my job is very special because most of you probably think of just the garbage man, right? The guy who comes and picks up all your trash. But what you may not know is that our team is made of over 700, almost 800 people. So that's people like the drivers, mechanics who fix the trucks, people who work at the landfill and at the recycling center to take care of all the trash, um, as well as people in offices who work in finance and money, um, scientists, we have people who do graphic design and work on computers, um, and my job in particular is in education, so we'll talk about that in a bit. So my job, this is me right here actually, my job is a recycling coordinator. And what a recycling coordinator is, is we're kind of like recycling teachers. So I talked about the amount of carts we have, right? We have three carts, the blue one, the brown one, and the green one. With three different carts, it can be very, very confusing for people in San Antonio to know which one belongs in the right cart or what kind of items go in there. So my job, along with my friends, and you'll get to see pictures of them, we make sure that everybody knows exactly where everything goes. Um, and so what we do is every day we'll go out into different community events We'll go to schools like yours. So this was me at a school doing a recycle relay. We'll go to um, neighborhoods. We'll go to apartments, businesses, and we'll teach people about recycling and why it's important. And the reason I chose this job is because I love the environment. I grew up when I was y'all's age in like elementary school, going to the zoo a lot, going to SeaWorld a lot, and I loved the animals. And I was like, I want to protect the animals and I want to keep San Antonio nice and clean. So that's how I fell into this job, um, being able to give back to San Antonio and keep it nice and beautiful because we don't want San Antonio being overrun with trash, right? We want it to be nice and clean. So these are a couple of my friends. This is Miss Asia. You may have seen her at the school. She's been with the city of San Antonio for 15 years. Um, and she is really, really great with the itty bitty pre-K students. And she's really, really awesome with all the adults. She knows a lot of information. And this is Mr. Lamar. You may have seen him as well. Um, and he loves teaching. He's very energetic. He's passionate about trash. And then he also does a lot of stuff with sports. He used to work at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and he went to Troy University. And he actually did track and field when he was in college. And then he ended up here. This is Mr. Pedro, and this is actually his second career. He actually used to be a teacher for SAISD, um, and since he really loves teaching and it's in his blood, he kept on teaching here, but about recycling and science. And then this is myself. I went to school right here in San Antonio. Um, I went to UTSA, and I got a degree in environmental science. Um, and I'm actually getting a master's right now from Texas Tech. And um, before this, I actually worked at the zoo and Environment Texas doing education. So at the zoo, if you've ever been inside of the um, butterfly house and learned all about the butterflies and the monarchs, that was what I used to do. Um, and I really, really love teaching people about the natural world. Um, and that's why I'm in this job now. So I've been at the job for a little over two years, and I hope to stay here for a good while. So a typical day of what we do at um, as our job as a recycling coordinator, again, is teaching people about recycling. So these are the three carts that you have. We make sure that everything belongs in the right cart, that we answer questions for the community. Um, some special talents that you may need for this job is public speaking. So if I... This is a good thing. I was really, really shy growing up. I didn't like speaking in public, um, but I slowly came out of my shell working, you know, jobs at stores, working at the zoo, and now I'm really comfortable speaking in front of large audiences. So special skills would be able to show, uh, show up and give a presentation to people, answer questions, 
um, as well as working on the computer. Sometimes we have to create these presentations, create videos, um, so those are some special talents. Another question that I know you guys may have is, can we do this job anywhere? So we're able to present from anywhere now. We can, I'm actually doing this from home. Um, I'm recording on my computer. We can do it in the office, at schools, outside in parks. I've given presentations in parks before. I've done presentations at SeaWorld. Um, so my job is really fun because it allows me to be um, at any place. That That's really fun. That's a fun aspect. Um, as far as training and education that you need, you should just be able to finish your high school degree. As long as you finish your high school degree, you can come work for us. So what we'll do is we'll give presentations to groups large and small. We've done it for thousands of people. We've done it for little classrooms of five or ten students. Um, and that keeps it nice and interesting. And we'll give out different prizes, different um, to presentation types. So we have Kirby the smart cart and he'll come out and he'll talk to the itty bitty kids in pre-k through first grade. We have our virtual game here where you get to sort out trash and so that's part of the special talents too is coming up with different ways to teach this information. Miss Asia who uh, you saw a picture of earlier she actually wrote this book about what happens to all of your recycling. So that's another thing if you're really creative with drawing or storytelling or technology you could do really well here and not just for trash um, you know you can go work for animal care services the fire department libraries and teach all about the wonderful things they have to offer and these are some of the different special events. We've had uh, different truck petting zoos. We've had career days and science nights. We even get to walk in Fiesta. Um, when Fiesta happened, we had our huge floats here that we would carry down the road and give out Fiesta medals. And here's a couple more of the information. You may see us at different events at parks and companies. This was me at a school answering questions. So here's another poll. What do you guys think of being a coordinator, being a teacher? Do you think it's fun, busy, strange, exciting? That's okay. I'm going to say it's busy because it can be very busy, especially around career day. Um, and both men and women can do our job, um, even for the drivers and the mechanics. We have ladies doing awesome roles. So don't be scared thinking that it's only the men who can do the job. Women can do it too. Um, and some advice that I'd have for people wanting to pursue our career, like I said, we want to make sure that you finish high school um, and you can come work for us as early as 18 years old. And when you're 18, we'll actually help you pay for some of your schooling. Um, so if you want to go to college or trade school, learn how to fix these trucks or drive them, we'll help you along the way. So um, it's a very special place to work um, and you get to develop your skills and learn different things about the city, not just in trash, but government, laws. Um, so it's really, really um amazing job. Um, another thing you may be wonder wondering is how important reading and math skills are um, at Solid Waste. Um, reading is very important because we have lots of safety rules. We have new procedures for how to drive the trucks, how to fix the trucks, how to teach people about recycling. So we always have to be up to date and be able to read our material. And for math, um, math can be very important in some of the other sections in solid waste like finance. Um, people who work on computers or graphic design may need to know a lot of math. For my role, I don't do too much math. I just do a lot of reading, writing, and presenting. So that's my job at Solid Waste. Um, it's a lot of fun. I get to be out and about in the city. I get to be uh, passionate about what I love, which is the environment and San Antonio and keep it nice and clean. Um, so if you have any questions for me about my job or about Solid Waste and what we do with everything, um, you're welcome to ask your teacher and your teachers can um, email me um, about any questions you have and I'll pop up my email right now.